I really do think man is part of divine or total consciousness, and that if you didn't close off, you would see it all. And the reason you close off is because your uh, brain, this 13 billion cell computer in here, was programmed for you. And it was programmed out of the best uh, motives in the world by your mother, who wanted you to survive and be happy and fulfilled and did the best she knew how to do to put in the model that would make that work. But all she could really do was put in her model, you see. And her model of the world said, look, there are 10,000 concepts and these are all you need and you can fit everything into those 10,000 concepts. Well, those 10,000 concepts allow so many moves on your board and that's all you got, you see. So that a drug comes along which all it does is chemically um, alter the thresholds in your synapses or the places where the nerve fibers come together, which are these little sacks of chemical. And like one fiber comes into the sack and then as many as 20,000 of these fibers go out of that sack. Well now, through your learning, you've set it up so that this fiber comes in always cues off this one. So when I say green, you say grass. When I say good, you say bad, well, you know, mother, father, and so on. And now we alter the chemistry of this thing so that when this fires, all of these fire. See, all 20, all the other 19,999 fire. Now all that is happening and the way in which you speak it is back through those 10,000 grid again, you see. So what gets lost between that experience and the 10,000 is really something. So you say, could a drug do it? Sure, man, a drug can do it, because a drug shows you once again the possibility. Then you start to look at that 10,000 concepts and say, well now, man, let's rethink whether I want to stay thinking th with this tool only, you see. The proof of the pudding is in the degree of satisfaction that the individual has and whether or not he can collaborate with the other members of his tribe or whatever it is to make life a humanly beautiful place to live in. What difference does it make whether I went out and had a wildest illusion? Or let's say it's all hallucination. But let's say as a result of the fact that I have 10,000 hallucinations, which I may call reincarnations, I become really wise. And as a result of my wisdom, I learn how to turn myself on and the world around me so it's really fun and really satisfying. And still I'm doing everything. I'm surviving and we're all helping each other and so on. Let's say I do that. Sure, it was all hallucination. It was all nuts, you see. I mean, I see LSD as a crutch, not an answer. All LSD is, does is break through and show you the possibility of other alternatives. They may all be illusory. But they give you a, a space, the space you've lived in that goes from like this to like this suddenly. And you experience ch feelings that you have choice. And a whole raft of things change.